Hey guys, it's your Sam making friend Mars from the Mars Today Studio and today we're doing a hands-on video on the Tsukineko Onamai ink pad. Alright, so let me show you what the Onamai ink pad looks like. Let me just take that off. We have a 1.4 by 3 inch ink pad area, so it's ideal for medium-sized stamps, even big ones. Let's put that back on. And it has a cute polar bear cover. Apparently, it's sold only in Japan and it comes only with four colors, that's black, white, and blue and pink. For this test, we're using black construction paper. This is a very thin and absorbent paper and we're going to use it with this huge stamp just for scale. Here is my ruler. This stamp is obviously bigger than six inches, roughly six by six inch stamp. So that's twice as big as the ink pad we are going to use to ink it with. So I also want to take this opportunity to show you how I ink a huge stamp with a much smaller ink pad. Uh, FYI, I had inked this stamp with black ink earlier, so it's going to stain my ink pad a bit, but that's actually the test. If the, old, the previous color would stink to the ink pad, but yeah, we want to see how well this ink pad inks because white ink kind of doesn't show up well on paper. Okay, so let's try to take a look, see a peek if the ink, oh, that's coming out nice. Uh, aha, I see a little bit of, uh, needs more ink, I think. Is it? Does it need? Yes, it needs more ink. I will re-ink that. Okay, so let me just lift this page and ink that part some more. Gotta make sure it's still aligned. Pull that paper down. Okay, so this is starting to look good. So let's take this out slowly but surely. Alright, and there it is. Okay, so it did come out nicely. However, the color is a bit uneven because I had added more ink over there. Uh, it's a bit sticky, which is kind of okay considering this is a very absorbent paper. And there you have it. That's the first look at the Onamai ink pad. In case you're wondering why I'm a bit picky with white, it's because I've had bad experiences using other white inks, particularly with Memento Lux and Versacraft white. But I think this white ink is actually faded because it's old, so I'm planning to buy a re-inker and test it out again and see how it fares. As for the Memento Lux, I'm not sure how I can make the most out of this ink pad. Okay, since you've seen the other white inks that I use, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how they fare. Okay, I'm gonna show you how the Memento Lux looks like. Okay. Yep, that's everything. Okay, now let's try the Versacraft. Now my thing is, even if you see it now, it's going to dry up on paper and usually what happens is that when it dries out, it kind of fades. So, let's see how this one looks. This is the, this is Versacraft. Alright, and finally, let's try it with the Onamai. Which is what I stamp. What I used to ink. Oops, see it stains, but I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, now that actually is not great. Let's try one more time. Show coverage. Hmm, 
Hmm. Well, if you look at that, the first half actually did okay. But now that it's drying, you can see which one is really showing on black paper. Now that I've shown you how the Onamae ink fares against other inks, which these are actually available in the Philippines, Versa Craft and Memento Lux, these are available. This, however, is I had to import it from Japan. Um, well, I hope this helps you decide on whether the Onamai is worth getting. I think I I paid uh, somewhere around 700 pesos. That's roughly 15 dollars USD. But I'm not so sure if it's actually worth getting because there's another variant called the stays on pigment white also by Tsukineko. It's the same size and I think it's actually the same formula but I have yet to try it. And there you have it guys, our hands-on review on the Tsukineko Onamae ink. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on ink reviews, please leave me a comment so I know what kind of inks to review for you in the future. Once again, this has been your stamp making friend Mars on the Mars Today Studio. Catch you later!